Hey y'all! Oh boy, uh, this one's, this one's a doozy. Today we're gonna be talking about micro... Uh, uh, I, I never thought I'd have to make this kind of video. Uh, well, specifically a video about this on MCC, of all things. Uh... And this is a Rambler video, this, uh, no script for this one, this is just me voicing out my thoughts, and, uh, I've got a lot to say on this, but I, I want to, to clarify what the situation is for those of you that are not in the loop. So, 3 for 3 Industries, uh, they are putting the ability to pay for season points, or Spartan points, as they needlessly renamed it to. Um, uh, I hope I don't come off as too pointed with that, but I will say there was the, uh, kind of overdoing it with the Spartan name thing a little, a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, they are basically adding microtransactions into the Master Chief collection. And this has the Halo community in a, uh, in outrage, for lack of a better term, or at least part of it. And I felt like I should talk about what this system is and why it's not as bad as some people think it is and why it's still pretty bad that it's being added in the first place. So let's just get into some context. So what is a, I'm just going to call it a Spartan point. Um, what is a Spartan point? So in the Master Chief collection, there is a rather unique way to unlock cosmetic items. So it's got this season pass, battle pass style tier system, but it's all free. You don't have to pay for it. Once you pay for the MCC itself, that's it. It's yours. You can progress through it as much as you want. Sorry if you hear the dog scratching on the door. And that's pretty much the gist of it. So, alright, uh, how do you get a Spartan point normally? So, you get a Spartan point by completing challenges, and it's not like Halo Infinite's challenges where they're pretty, there's only a few of them and they're pretty restrictive in terms of how you can play the game. And what do I mean by that? So, MCC has a lot of challenges. There are a lot of challenges, and these challenges are very broad in scope, right? So, you could literally just play the game just to play the game with absolutely no intention of completing a challenge, with no care for getting Spartan points, and you could still get Spartan points. It's basically like natural progression. Um, or at least the closest thing you can get to natural progression. Which is nice. And there's also, like, a ranking system, which is kind of just there for show, but it's still nice, it makes the player feel nice. And overall, um, it, it works. The system works. It's not the best system Halo's ever had, but it's not a bad system by any means. It works, it's free, and anyone can do it, and you can progress in it however you want. It is totally optional. There is absolutely nothing terribly wrong with it, per se. And so that brings us into the controversy. So, they are adding microtransactions to MCC in the form of purchasable Spartan points. And... I think that, on one hand, people are understandably upset, but there has been a bit of um, a heavy-handed reaction with... Uh, uh, and, and people are kind of going a little too over the top with it. So I felt like, let's take a moment to actually review what it is uh, exactly. So 343 3 hasn't given us many details uh, on what the, system, the paid system will look like, but they've given us enough to work with, so let's take a look at it. So on Halo Waypoint, it says, quote, for players who are new to MCC, or who may not have dedicated much time specifically to unlocking items during seasonal updates, or are simply completionists looking to catch the last outstanding items they need, we are internally exploring a potential 
that's the key here, potential new feature for the future in the form of purchasable Spartan points. It is prudent to note that we are happy with the current system of how players earn Spartan points by completing challenges and leveling up through play. This would be an optional additive alternative for players who might find the vast scope of content to be an intimidating amount of playtime and want to get ahead on or skip the grind, or maybe want to grab specific items they want. In the interest of transparency with our dedicated and passionate community, we wanted to inform you of this exploration in advance and provide assurance that purchasable Spartan points would be an additive and it's it's uh and that's it's highlighted here additive feature we still have sorry we will have more information to share about this in the future end quote so yeah um honestly that's not a terrible that's not like world shattering news um and before you grab your pitchforks let me explain so they're keeping the system the same uh at least, as far as we know, challenges are going to be the same. Um, you still get things through, through stuff. You don't have to pay. It is a purely optional thing. And uh, they, they say potential new feature. So it's not even like they are actually adding it in yet. They're saying it's a potential new feature. So I, I think that, that we need to make that clear. Um, it's not the end of the world. It's not world shattering. It's not like they're locking things behind microtransactions. It's not like they're, as far as we know, deliberately rigging the system to incentivize players to, well, pay exorbitant amounts of money. And that is, yeah, like I said, it's not that bad. But, but, um, the, I think three for three fail to read the room here. Uh, honestly, part of me wonders if it was Microsoft basically trying to make up for profits lost in Halo Infinite. I, I don't know. But um, from what I can see, this seems to this seems to be a very uh, tone deaf announcement. I, I guess is the it's the best that's the best way to put it. Because right now, Halo Infinite is not in a good place. The Halo community is not happy with Halo Infinite. They're not happy with the state of it. They're not happy with the shop. They're not happy with the quality of life. They're not happy with the lack of content. They're not happy with the lack of Forge. They're not happy with the long season. They're not happy with a lot of things. And they're also not happy with the fact that the shop is back up in price. They're also not happy, or at least a good chunk of the community is not happy with the Halo TV show, which in some ways was great for Halo, and in other ways was absolutely disastrous. So, um, yeah, uh, the 3 for 3 has not, uh, gotten itself to a point where it could do something like this without understandable immediate backlash from the community because the community already feels cheated it feels frankly scammed with halo infinite's shop they're tired of the surprise of all the 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 uh the promises and then the and then only to be surprised that they are disappointed and it's it's very disappointing for the community that has overall it took them so many, it took 3 for 3 so many years to build back goodwill with the Master Chief Collection. Like, they went, this, the Master Chief Collection is really an incredible success story. It went from one of the most hated, most disastrous launches in gaming history. It launched in a worse state than Halo 5, than Halo Infinite. Like, any recent controversy regarding Halo that you can think of, MCC was undoubtedly the worst that you could possibly think of in terms of launches. And, well, 3 for 3 spent years, years working hard on it 
getting the people's goodwill back with it. And now they are at a point where MCC is almost universally seen as like, wow, I like this. The community is happy with it. They're satisfied with it. They're okay with it. MCC is kind of what got 3 for 3 a lot of its goodwill back with during the Road to Halo Infinite's launch. And, well, 3 for 3 really dropped the ball with Halo Infinite, its launch, uh, among other things. And I won't rehash all that. You know, you know Halo Infinite needs a lot of work. I know Halo Infinite needs a lot of work. And so 3 for 3 should have seen this backlash coming. That you 3 for 3 has already messed up in the live service model. It's already messed up in the live service model with Halo Infinite. And people are already very unhappy. They want changes for the better. And they have this product, this, uh, you know, the, this collection that is universally seen as complete, seen as good, people like it, people love it, and it's seen as in a more than satisfactory place, and then you're adding something as inflammatory as microtransactions in. This would undoubtedly, with the current situation, cause an uproar. And for that matter, it is rather annoying that in a six, uh, is it forty dollars now? In it, like a forty to sixty dollar collection, uh, what what is supposed to be free has the option to be paid for. Now again, it is additive. It's additive. It's optional. Doesn't it's it's it doesn't change. They're not changing the system. They're not by the sounds of it. They're not making it harder. For the community to you know function but uh there's a there's a bit of a asterisk here think about how this must feel for a completionist right think about how this must feel for someone that spent hours and hours and hours and hours working to get every single item in mcc every single item in MCC, only to find that someone could circumvent the effort by uh, paying. It doesn't invalidate the impressive feat that is grabbing all that stuff uh, organically, but it, it kind of stings a little. Um, so I, I can understand why people might be a little frustrated with that. I think the core issue here is not necessarily how they're doing it, um, how they appear to be doing, uh, potentially, I should say, because it's a potential new feature, how they appear to be potentially doing this system is not necessarily the issue, rather when this announcement was made and when they started working on this. It's good that 343 has talked to us about this. Um, I think it would be a lot worse if all of a sudden microtransactions in the MCC. But at the same time, 3 for 3 has not earned the goodwill of the Halo community to really pull this off. It's very... 3 for 3 didn't read the room. Uh, I, I think Late Night Gaming said it best. 3 for 3 didn't read the room. And that is kind of the gist of it. 3 for 3 should have done a lot more to really help out Infinite, um, continue updating the MCC, con c because, you know, they obviously still want to keep updating MCC. But at the same time, uh, I think that people saying, oh, I'm done with 3 for 3, I'm done with this, the, I'm, I can't believe they'd add a microtransactions into MCC. Let's, let's cool down, let's cool down. But yes, it is understandably a very frustrating incident, and it really just highlights the 
serious disconnect between 3 for 3 and the Halo community right now. And I think this kind of highlights a big problem that I've noticed from 3 for 3 as of late. Uh, sorry about the dog barking. This is a Rambler video, so, you know, uh, it is what it is. Um, it's... Uh, one thing I noticed was after Halo 5 and in the road to Halo Infinite, 3 for 3 really seemed to hear the community. Uh, art style changes, though I feel like they kind of overdid it with the art style thing, but that's a thing for another day, and that's a matter of personal opinion. Uh, with gameplay changes, story changes, uh, how they handled MCC, and overall, uh, like, the community felt heard, they felt listened to, and then Halo Infinite launched, and it's almost like all that dialogue seemingly fell apart, and 3 for 3 is kind of cleaning up after the fact. Like, 3 for 3 does a thing, people don't like it, and people say they don't like it, and so 3 for 3 kind of has to pick up after the mess, more or less. And then there's um, other things, like the shop, raising the prices back up, and the whack rarity system that really means nothing in Halo Infinite, uh, the terrible quality of life changes, the and I think one thing that really highlights the, uh, the, uh, lack of the ability to read the room, so to speak, um, was removing the tank gun, uh, removing skill jumps, removing the, uh, hill sliding thing that made speedrunning super fun. Um, yeah, so, uh, that's really what I've noticed, and I think 3 for 3, this kind of just goes into my whole opinion that 3 for 3 needs to just stop for a week, reorganize, and get it shit together, for lack of a better term. Um, cause it, and if not, if 3 for 3 has gotten its sel itself together, and really is, uh, cranking the engine, uh, uh or, like, igniting the engine, or turning the wheels, as, as they would say, then I think 3 for 3 still needs to talk with the community, talk with, talk with us, uh, you know, the community as a whole, explain what happened, what went wrong, where it went wrong, why it went wrong, how they're working to ensure that this doesn't happen again, uh, and how they intend to move forward in the future. So, yeah, uh, that's really just my thoughts on the MCC microtransactions. What do you guys think? Let me know um, in the comments below and on my Discord or my Instagram or my Patreon, things like that. And, of course, I will see all of you in the Cosmos, friends.